I'm a single mom, work for one of the biggest law firms in the U.S., and I cannot afford a house here. 80% of households are now priced out of the housing market in Kootenai County. That's according to a new report from Kootenai Connect. It is a stark contrast to just seven years ago when 75% of home buyers could afford the median priced home in the area. Natalie Grant is taking a deeper look at this new data and what needs to be done to fix the growing housing crisis. Well, it's a harsh reality for the many people who have spent their entire lives in this area of North Idaho, only to learn that they can no longer afford to live here. And according to this new data, while Kootenai County is one of the fastest growing areas in the United States, this lack of affordable housing is having a big impact on those local jobs and in turn, the local economy. This study compares the housing market in Kootenai County to what it was back in 2016 when interest rates were much lower and the annual income needed to own a home was just over $40,000. Now fast forward to 2023 where you need to be making well over $100,000 to buy that same home. Greta Gissel with Connect Kootenai has been partnering with other local organizations to come up with local housing solutions. She says this study shows that things are much worse than they were just seven years ago, and if nothing is done, it will start to have an impact on average local workers who will no longer be able to live in town. So when you think about the numbers of teachers and nurses and police officers and other people that may have to leave the area because they can't afford to live here, once that happens to the degree that people finally feel the pinch, I think that they'll really understand what a significant impact local worker housing has on our area. The study also shows that a lack of housing has resulted in a loss of more than 5,000 jobs countywide, which is translated to a loss of millions of dollars into the local economy. Now, as far as what's next, according to this data, the solution lies in more housing that people can afford. And if that doesn't happen, homes like this that you see behind me here in downtown Coeur d'Alene may soon not be owned by locals, but by people moving in from out of town. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Natalie Grant, 4 News Now.